Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 21 of Storyteller Plays Elden Ring. In the last episode, we took on one of the most difficult bosses in this game. Not the most. We're gonna fight her soon-ish, I'd imagine. What am I going with this? Uh, and we got half of a medallion, and then we're going to get the other half somewhere around here. I was looking around for it before starting this episode, but it was at the top of the plateau, and supposedly, the village is under it, so I just gotta find a way down there. That's a poison swamp. Looks awfully poison swampy. Funny part is, I'm not even entirely sure this is where I want to be going either. But I do gotta get underground. Over here-ish. Oh, that's a big crab. And I'm seeing infrastructure, so this has gotta be where I want to be. Yeah, it looks like I can go up here. Welcome to the village of the, uh, Albanurix, or whatever. Hey, don't touch me. Hello, are you friendly? Wait a minute. Somebody asked me to give you a potion. Uh, potion. Somebody asked me to give you a potion. I recognize you. Oh, it's you. Well, what do you make of it? What's happened to this village? I've not seen a lot of it. I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare. Made by men. Yep, humans are terrible. But this time, I'm a woman grown. Yes. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am an Afelinu warrior. Yes. But this time, and though the justice to let the scar... Okay, fine. I'm not going to give you a potion. Uh, the potion was given to me by a corpse anyway. Okay, let's look around. I don't think I don't see you. I'm not doing anything to them. Why are they attacking me? Hello, Alepsis. The village is done for. Please, even if it's just you, old Albus, hide well this, uh, still you're beneath, whatever. I can't read, especially when I'm distracted by shallow wells that there's no way I actually contain any water. Come on, game designers. Stop it. Get some help. You feel like put a little cap on the well that I can't remove? But so that I don't see that there is no actual hole? That's fine. Hello? That's actually not what I wanted to do. Don't heal. Only I'm allowed to do that. Okay, so that was a perfumer. And, uh, the perfumers are the enemies. I will see if I can do this without killing any of the actual villagers, because, uh, they were all slaughtered anyway. Whoa. Please, no. Dear me. I was just trying to break the pot. I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait, then. You're not one of them. I'm not, no. Well, what a relief. Smart of them to hide a NPC in a pot, because everybody likes to break those. Goodness me. I am Albus, an Albinoric. Albinoric. I won't remember that, but it's good to know that's how it's pronunciated. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? I'll do it. You must keep it out of the Kursmonger's hands. I now have both halves. And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, then please give it to her. I don't think I want to. But I am kind of curious. A chosen land awaits us, Albinoric. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. City in the sky? It's only a quaint treasure. For we who cannot make but for dear Latena. Okay, I'll look for Latena. 
My legs will soon fade, alas. This is the immovable fate of all Albinoric. Just kind of decompose whilst alive. This guy does not sound like he's in very good health. This guy is already dead. Well, now I feel bad. Like, I'm not responsible for what just happened. But I was there to see it happen. Okay, so I've got the second half of the medallion. I don't know where to use it yet. Now, there's a good chance that our friend, uh, the All-Knowing, will know what to do with it. Mm, but there's got to be a reason I'm here. Or rather, there's a reason that Nefeli is here. And I propose we find out what that reason is. Ow. I'd rather not hurt you. I know you've all lost your minds. And since it's not your fault you're attacking me, I'm going to forgive this, uh, indiscretion. Oh, look, another well. Is it extremely shallow? Yes, come on. This is important to me. Oh, it's an omen killer. Ow, you know I've killed my fair share of omens. My murder of Mog was possibly a little unfair. Oh, what do you mean I fought him without any AI? Where do you keep getting these dogs from? Every time I kill a dog, another one pops up, and I don't like killing dogs. Okay. Rest in peace, Omen Killer. Nice, Crucible Knot Talisman. Take the knot, why would I? <laughs> okay, so. Nothing down there. Let's go see if Nefeli has anything to say for herself, not helping me out with that bus. As I cause just untold property damage. Nice, a rune arc. I don't use those, but they're pretty damn powerful. Oh, well, I don't know how to get down from here. Yes, my physics effect. Are you down here, Nefeli? Oh, I guess she moved. But to where? Okay, I've got to keep my eyes out. Nefeli is probably around here somewhere. And there is that rope bridge, so I've not thoroughly explored this place yet. You get back here. Rest in pieces. Nefeli? Nope, just some crazy, uh... Albanoric. That's how it's pronounced, right? I did say I was going to immediately forget. I've got bad and congestion. Wasn't there a rope bridge? There's the rope bridge. Although, who knows? Maybe Nefeli is now at the uh, spot where I fought the one dude. Ow! Your friends can live, but you die. Those guys are just pathetically trying to grab me. Do do do. 
Transformers. Nefeli. Wherefore art thou Nefeli? The dog is after me. Mm, but dogs are slow. Just like in real life. Who's ever heard of a fast dog? That's what I call good timing. I am lost. Okay, so let's try the rope bridge, because I've not gone this way yet. And it is presumably part of the town. Nefele, wherefore art thou? Quiet materials. Sorry, buddy, but you can't live. Hmm. Oh, well, I can't find her, so maybe she's back at the round table hold. Nefeli! Yo, I lost your daughter. What can you tell me about the secret medallion? I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit, but the honor of the deed is yours alone. Yeah, I found your daughter there. Yeah, please, tell me, where the hell do I go with these? Me too. I wait with bated breath. Fine, don't tell me where I go. Have you seen your daughter? I found her at that village, and then just, she disappeared. Yeah, everybody I know is dead. These two are still alive and well. Anybody in here? This door leads outside, so I don't know if it can ever open. Because who knows what outside really is in the round table hold. Hello? Nobody in here. Hello? Kind of gross. Oh, Nefeli! Ah, you. Please, leave me be. What happened? It's pathetic, I know, but I. I need to think. You probably could have helped me. You just chose not to. Maybe. Ah, you. Please, it's pathetic, I know. Okay, well, let's let her, let her think. By that I mean, reload the area. Hello. Get anything done? Ah, you. Please, it's pathetic, I know. Okay. Nope. So that's not how you advance your quest. What do I do with this potion? Somebody tell me what to do with the potion. I can probably level up again. No, I'm short. By a whole 10,000. Inventory? There we go. I can level up again. Level up. Let's go ahead and put it in arcane, because of course I'm going to. Probably should have saved some so that I could upgrade my thing. Maybe I still can. Yes, yes. Lay out your arms. Okay, cool. Oh, and I needed a somber, ancient, draconic smithing stone.
that's still not as good maxed out as my other one is. Maxed out. But I'll just keep putting points into Arcane. Do more bleed damage that way. Of course, my Frost is based on intelligence. And so my whole build is a fucking mess. Um, what do I do now? Let's go see what this lady is up to. Maybe I can buy the, um, Commander uh, Neil armor. Purchase. The veteran helm. That's probably the Commander Neil stuff. Yep. It looks kind of cool. I'm not a big fan of the color red. Which probably sounds ridiculous if you look at my current outfit. Okay, so there's something else I want to try doing. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording here, because it's going to take me a bit to figure out where it is. Yes, I'm googling more stuff. Don't judge me. Here we are! Welcome to the um, underground shunning grounds, or whatever it's called. Subterranean shunning grounds, I believe. I'm still congested as hell, but like it's the same recording session, so what can you expect? Was there a full dungeon here? I was admittedly hoping I could just come in here and fight the guy, assuming it will let me fight the guy. I already killed him. This looks like a boss room. Hello? Oh cool, I can still fight him. Well, that kept him down long enough for me to summon. I don't use blood fire, I use blood fire. I haven't in a good bit though. Okay, Mog, while you're distracted. Like, did you see how his health just went back up? That seems to happen when I've got this uh, summon out. What's this? Ooh, Erdtree's favor plus one. Don't mind if I dizzy do. Did I not hit you enough with a uh, Scarlet Rot for you to be dying? Or did my summon how somehow also cure you of it? Ha! Huh, Mog might be uh, immune to Scarlet Rot. But he's not immune to propaganda. Mog and I actually both get stronger after we bleed. Or if we bleed the enemy, even. You'll never take me alive, Mog. Get out of the bleed fire, me. I know what it does. Ouch. Really? That does damage? I didn't mean to roll into him, so I guess I deserved that. Okay, let's try summoning first. Because he gives us plenty of time. Consume this. Switch to my dragon fire. Whoop. Now go! Thanks for healing the enemy. <laughs> I wonder why it does that. Ow. Ow. Rude. I should switch to my Mimic, most likely. Ow. Get out of the fire, me. Use the shackle. Go ahead and heal up. My Mimic is pretty dumb, but at least it doesn't heal the boss. Who definitely still seems to be immune to, uh, Crimson Rot.
Just gotta keep using bleed fire. Until it becomes ultimately extremely confusing as to whose bleed fire is whose. Whoa. You almost hit me. Surely you didn't mean to do that though. Gotta consume my tears. You know, Mog doesn't seem to be being bled out. Ow, because this isn't even the real Mog. This guy shouldn't be too hard, though. He's basically like Mog without the phase two that we missed, because I uh, cheesed him like a dork. Whoa there. Buddy, that could have hurt. I knew you wouldn't be trying to hurt me on purpose. Ow. Can uh, my summon fucking do shit? Well, that doesn't reach. Summon! And fight Mog. Turns out my summon is stupid. Which I... And to be fair, I did say they were stupid. So... I'm not wrong. Look at them just standing there and taking it. What the fuck are they doing? Useless! Ouch. Okay, I definitely did more damage with the other thing. I didn't do that in a very good order. Okay, let's see here. How weak is he to Dragon Ice? Not very. It's gonna restore health or stamina. And focus points, so neither of the things I said. Do I gotta restore health now? Let's try Glintstone Breath. Not bad. Not melting him, though. And so Rotten Breath might still be powerful. As his health jumps back up. Might not be a bad idea to just let my summon try to finish him off. Because I've noticed that if my summon hits him while I'm actively doing damage, that it just undoes the damage that I did. You know, like what you want to happen. Ow. Whoa there, summon. Don't get too close to me. You'll just draw his aggro. And I'm dead! Because I was fumbling with menus. Anyway, this thing. Why would you heal? What's going on with his stupid health? So he's not immune to frostbite. Probably. I think. I read. Oof. Let's try not to die. I just want to let my uh, summon finish him off. Which she could probably do faster if she wasn't shooting her. Uh, weird fire shit into pillars. If I can just slow him down, which he might be immune to frostbite as well. Hey. I'm not even that actively fighting you. Your beef is with Tish there. So 
was kind of hoping that roar would do damage. As it sometimes does. Sometimes doesn't. Hey. Why don't you just fight Tish? Maybe that only does damage once. It's certainly not dealing damage now, so I'm just wasting focus points. Well, don't dodge into the enemy. Greyhound's step is powerful, but I feel like it's dumb as well. I'm out of Cerulean Tears. Ow. Can I use this again? It seems to just be an annoyance factor. But it did work. And if it works, it isn't stupid. And that's what I was after. The Blood Flame, Blood Flame Talons. Which is a spell you've seen him use a couple times in this boss fight. I guess I can rest here and then uh, continue my adventures in the Mountain of Giants or whatever it's called. Rest at grace. Got a clean 100,000 uh, runes. I would have gotten more, but I had equipped my golden scarab for more carry weight and FP, or health. So basically, I unequipped my golden scarab for something I didn't even need. Ooh, raises potency of incantations. Technically, everything I use is an incantation. But does potency count there? I suppose that's worth checking Google. One moment. I'm surprised I don't blow out my microphone sneezing into it like that. Well, a ton of way to sneeze, but you get the idea. Oh, talk to Melina. Hey, girl! If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought unending. I didn't say I was doing that. This world has become... However mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. I don't believe you. There is beauty in that. Is there not? I've never seen a baby in one of these Soulsborne games. Do not deny this notion. There are two babies that I can think of. Leave the frenzied flame. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the fl frenzied flame alone. Two babies I can think of. Uh, one was smashed into the ground by its half-dragon father. And then the other one was just kind of ripped out of Queen Yarnum and used in some kind of strange moon sacrifice. It is a purpose which I choose so please. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna I shall see to the it is a purpose. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I will let you do whatever you want to do. How do I get out of here? Oh, I can just fast travel, I'm not stuck here. Nope. Somebody sent an image. You know, those sewers have got to be where the key that that dude, the Dung Eater, gave me goes to. But I can't find the locked door. Probably going to have to use a guide for that or something. Which I try to do minimally where possible. Don't want to spoil everything. Hello? Are you done uh, yet? No? Okay. Curious as to what this is. Isolated Divine Tower. I've clearly been there, maybe. I don't think it would be on my map if I haven't been there. But I also don't think much. Kind of dumb. Okay, so there's that fort. I already cleared it, or explored it pretty thoroughly. How do I get to that, like, uh... One moment, I'll just teleport there. Oh, look at that! A little minor earth tree. I need so many golden seeds to upgrade the uh, number of flasks I've got that... I'm not even excited to see those anymore, but hey. Could always use more uh, golden seeds. Oh, look at that, a big statue. 
The amount of time it would take to get that guy over here to break it open, though, is probably not worth it. Or at least not trying to do on camera. Oh, hey, this guy's awake. Come. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly. Sugar, baby. Those are the lyrics, right? Oh no, whatever will I do? Really? You're not going to come this far? What's the point? Whatever. I don't care what's in that statue. It's probably just smithing stones, which I need. My tone probably implies that I care a little bit what's inside the statue. Oh, this is a big open spot. Suspiciously big open spot. There's got to be a way up that cliff. Oh, you can break the uh, tumbleweeds. Ooh. Oh no, it requires a gargoyle key. Requires two. How many of those do I have? Key items. I've got 17. Oh no. Yes, go ahead and use the stone sword keys. It doesn't matter. We're just exploring anyway. Finding some cool shit. Spirit Colors Cave. It's gonna be dark as hell, so let me equip my lantern. Go ahead and light this up. I don't know how many more runes I need to level. That's not gonna do it, so let's consume all three, or all six, I mean, of these. That's probably enough to level up once. Watch it not be. Not, don't pass that. Level up. It is, but not by a whole lot. Let's go ahead and put that in. Arcane. Which, due to a bug, arcane scaling is actually kind of broken right now. Uh, 117. That's more than it was doing, maybe. I don't know. I wasn't paying that much attention. Let's go ahead and activate the summoning pool. Also, go ahead and two-hand my scythes. Whoop. Okay. Note to self. There's a big hole in the center of that room. Uh-oh. Must kill the snail. Hmm. Glowy water. Kind of pretty. But we mustn't be distracted. I don't know if I fought it on camera, but there was a spirit color snail boss. And it's interesting that there's just spirit color snail enemies now. I do appreciate the spell casting snails, because they were actually in uh, Kingsfield. Which I've probably brought up. There's an item in there, but... That's probably just the rest of the cave. Let's go loot. I've probably brought it up before. Thank you. Rune arc, not bad. Hero's rune, that's gonna be good for a lot of runes. And then a rune 10. There's some good loot in this cave. I heard another spirit color snail. I've not seen it yet, though. I'm going to assume that the spirit color snails are going to be a regular enemy in here. As long as I'm not too careless, all I gotta do is kill the snail and it will kill the wolves they're summoning as well. Very pretty water. I'm not easily distracted, you're easily distracted. Whoop. Hey, it's the hole I fell into in the beginning. Do 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 do. There's got to be more to this cave, though. Mm, this is where I came from, so my other destination is this room over here. There's not a room over there. 
And then that's the area with the tree. Oh, well, let's go deeper in, I suppose. There was a fork in the road, and I chose one direction. I also can't rule out the possibility of invisible walls. I keep calling them invisible walls, but like illusory walls. Do do do. Those are usually pretty obvious, though. The game doesn't like to make it too difficult. Okay, I looted this room. I'm gonna keep going further in. There we go, summoning snail. Which means I've not gone this direction. Ooh, a golden rune 12. And some freezing grease. There's a wolf. There's a lot of wolves. These wolves are tough. So I should just find the snail. There are so many wolves. Where's the snail? Snail. Oh, god damn it. There it is. Ow, jerk. Heal again. Going to have to heal every time I kill a snail, apparently. Okay, so we know where the snail is. I'm just gonna make a run for it, and then do a leaping attack, because those deal damage. There we go, and it's dead. Oh, only half of them are dead. Interesting. Where's the other snail, then? Okay, I'm aware of its tricks now. There's more than one. Where is the other? There. Run. Ow. Okay, that seems to have taken care of all of them. Which means that's the two. There's not a third. Let's see what's in this tree, or by this tree. Oh, it's just a white samurai armor. Cool. I'm kind of curious as to what the point of this entire cave is. There's got to be something cool at the bottom of it. I'm going to chug my flask. Just so that I've got enough to summon, I'm going to chug that as well. Oh great, it's the Godskin Apostle again. I could probably remove Murgat's Shackle. Or Mog's Shackle. Okay, so this thing is going to be immune to Crimson Rot, or Scarlet Rot. But it still does good damage to it. Not good enough to justify using it. Ow, but good damage. If you want to focus on my summon, that would be great. Oh yeah, they get all stretchy. Come on. It's unfortunate fighting a godskin apostle that is immune to my bullshit. But nobody's immune to just getting hit with two sides. Ow. Get 
you stop throwing shit at me while I'm trying to heal players? It's a little bit very rude. Also, the way that you just get health back. Bit nonsense. And there we go. Really? I gotta fight the noble now? Thanks for making me not fight both at once, but we're already weakened from the previous fight. Ow. Which is probably the point. They're immune to my nonsense, and I have to fight them one immediately after the other. Tried dodging. Okay, attempt number two. Oh, I don't have enough FP. What are the odds you're going to leave me alone long enough to do this? What were you aiming for there, buddy? Ow. I don't know why you would focus on me when you're being attacked. Get back here. I can whittle, whittle down the enemy's health. I can whittle down the enemy's health by just rolling into it. Ow. Rude. Oof. Ow. I'm already out of healing, which is not good. Still got the other one to fight. That one's down, though, and my apostle, or my, uh... Black Knife Tish, or whatever her name is, has more health. So, ow. If she would grab aggro, we've got a chance. She just has to finish it off entirely on her own. I've got faith in her. Go, Tish. Grab aggro. Hey, don't focus on me. Also, don't surround yourself with black fire. That's rude. My summon is an idiot and will just stand in there. Ow! Fuck you. What do you even get from this dungeon? Okay, I looked it up. The reward is kind of shit. So, I'm either not going to do this at all, or I'm going to do it off camera at some point. Uh, I've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes, and a lot of that's going to be cut, but this episode's going to be long as hell, so I'm just going to end it. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and fizzity farewell.